Hey friends, gonna do a quick grocery haul with you today. Uh, we just finished the most exciting thing of the day, which is Charity's piano lesson. And uh, usually my pattern has been when I sit in piano lessons and listen to her, I also scroll the ads uh, for the different grocery stores around here and make a list of the deals that I wanna pick up. And so we'll either pick them up after piano lessons or the next day we have ballet. And so sometimes we pick them up um, after ballet. So I just did my perusal of the different ads, have some lists. We're actually going to go to New Seasons also because they have half off, 50% off um, jerky, snacks and jerky, but the jerky is what piqued my interest. So I'm going to go check out those deals and see if there's any good. Sometimes jerky is so expensive that even 50% off isn't an amazing deal. And then after New Seasons, I think I'm, I there were a few deals at Fred Meyer and a few deals at Safeway. I think we're just going to try to go to both and pick, quickly pick up the, the really good deals at both places with the price of groceries the way they are now. Shopping the ads is the way to go. I mean, it's always been the way to go because you can get some really good deals if you're on top of it. Um, and that's what I usually try to do. Do you have a good piano lesson? Yes. All right. What are you going to get for a snack uh, at New Seasons? A chocolate bar. <laughs> chocolate bar. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like a, um, a Muppet. Look at the sunflowers. We didn't get any sunflowers planted this year. They're so pretty. Ooh, look at these. Dahlias. I can't wait to go to the dahlia farm um, by the beach house, remember? Oh, yeah. It's so pretty. They have a million different kinds and different colors. Look at these lilies, Jerry. Like bees love. Oh yeah, bees would love all of these. I'm so glad samples are back. They just didn't have any cream. That was the only bummer. What do you think? I think they're pretty. They are pretty. I like that bag. They have so many collagen supplements now. Didn't used to be this way. It was so hard to find. Now there's a whole shelf full of them. I love it. Okay, let's see. Jerky is up here. I wonder if beef sticks are included in the jerky. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. I don't know if they are. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're all on sale. This is a good way to taste different ones that I've been wanting to try. Let's see. The way... What? I think I'll pick you, you may. Of course, I got a whole variety of vegan jerkies and mushroom jerky. Look at all that mushroom jerky. But we'll stay down in the uh, meat jerky section. So, I'll grab a couple of these mini packs. Uh, I like the NYX sticks, so I got a few of the beef and a few of the turkey. I, I, I think I like the turkey of this one. There are some turkey ones that I don't care for, but I think the NYX sticks had good turkey ones. And then I got some venison strips of the Epic. These are the ones that have the least amount of carbs, because some of them have honey or cranberries or different things like that. So I got several of the venison ones. The dried mangoes are on sale too, 50% off. So that's a pretty big bag. Grab those for you guys. What are you picking? Caramel. Oh, this is caramel cool. sea salt. It's what? This is um, caramel sea salt. Yeah. Yeah, caramel sea salt. Yeah. Yep, that looks good. That's a good treat. Look at all the lilies. It's amazing has exploded. There's also all kinds of other no sugar added um, chocolate brands, keto chocolate bars so many products these days So here's the jerky haul. I got 10 of the venison strips, four of each of the beef, 
and the turkey, two of the beef minis, some mango for the kids, and these are for a recipe that I'm working on that you'll find out about soon. So I grabbed a couple of those. They were um, half off too, so that worked out really well. And I spent a total of $52.46 at New Seasons. We also got, let's see, where was it? Charity's chocolate bar in there. I do like getting chocolate for the kids as treats. Um, it does have sugar in it, which I tried to not have them have too much sugar. But as far as chocolate goes, sugar is the only negative and their little metabolisms can handle the sugar. But it doesn't have, you know, the gluten or the seed oils, different things like that. So I try to opt for just good chocolate if they want a treat. Next stop is Fred Meyer, but we've got to go over here and return some cans and bottles first. Ooh, little full. Sometimes you have to use force. on sale. Grab some of those. Grape is my favorite. Grape and orange are my favorite. Gonna pick up some ground beef for the freezer. Let's see, is there a limit? No, no limit on these. We'll just get a few because we don't have a lot of room in the freezer. We'll do four. That should be good. I'm gonna grab Lara bars. Um, these are the ones Dad likes. Let's see, we can... Use the coupon up to five times. Can we do minis? No, because those ones aren't on sale. They're more expensive. Yeah. Double chocolate truffle. And that. then cherry pie. Chocolate raspberry truffle. I've never seen those flavors before. What What do they add to make it truffle? Dates, cashews, semi-sweet chocolate, raspberries, cocoa powder, sea salt, and raspberry extract. What do you think? Raspberry truffle or double chocolate truffle? Double chocolate. That sounds good to me too. Let's see, that's three. Are there any other flavors? Maybe we'll get one, just peanut, because we got two of the peanut chocolate chip. So we could get one more for the deal. Is there another flavor you like? Plain cashew cookie, um, lemon, blueberry muffin, cherry pie. Cherry, charity, cherry pie. Fine. I'm gonna start calling you cherry pie. No. Yes. Fine. Coupon. Yeah. <laughs> Anything good? Boost. New boost. Wait. You're so strong. Here's our Fred Meyer haul. Got a bunch of Lara bars. We are stocked up on snacks now. A couple things of sour cream four three pound chubs of ground beef to throw in the freezer for a rainy day and then six waterloos three of the lemon lime three of the grape and the total i spent here was 98.97 last stop is safeway let's see if we can wrap this up sound good I'm gonna pick up this butter deal, limit four. A few pretty good deals in the clearance rack. I'm gonna grab these for the kids. They love the milk chocolate chips. These are also a fairly good deal. Espresso roast for five bucks for a special treat. Decaf espresso roast. Bacon is on sale, so I'm gonna grab a couple of those. Let's see, peppered bacon. We'll get one of each. And sirloin steak. 79 cents a pound for drumsticks is pretty good. I might grab a couple of those. Avocados. Get a, we'll get three. Because we have a few at home that are almost ripe. I think we got everything. Let's go. We made it home, and this is the Safeway haul. Start with the reduced stuff. 
So I always like dark roast coffee, but it always surprises me when other people like lighter roast coffee. So um, I decided to grab this for just having it at our coffee station for when guests come over. Somebody strange that likes blonde roast. Uh, the organic Newman's Own was a pretty good deal, so I grabbed that. The kids like milk chocolate chips for their trail mix, and so that was a pretty good price with the 50% off, so grabbed four of those. Now, these obviously are not the cheapest way to drink coffee. I mean, of course, the Keurig never is, the pods, but um, the Starbucks pods are really good, and, and I don't get them very often because they are super expensive at regular price. So when I saw them at 50% off, I decided to splurge and get a couple of the decaf and a couple of the regular. Got a bunch of cream cheese. That is also for a recipe that will be coming up soon. I have some recipe testing to do, which is why I got a ton of it. Grapes were on sale for 97 cents a pound, but there were only two bags left and these ones looked halfway decent. The other bag did not. So we just got one bag of grapes, four boxes of butter, three avocados, two big packs of bacon. These were on sale for a really good price. Um, so got some applewood smoked and some peppered bacon. Two packs of the sirloin steak that was on sale for $3.77 a pound. That was a really good deal. So decided to stock up the freezer with those. Also, I didn't realize these were on sale, but when I saw the price, I was like, oh, I got to get some. So 79 cents a pound for drumsticks, which means each of these packages was little over three dollars so super good deal one of the cheapest ways to get chicken i often will find chicken drumsticks for about 99 cents a pound for sale so if i see it for any less than that i always try to grab some and stock up i did have some grocery rewards to redeem at safeway and that got me a 15 dollar off purchase coupon so that was wonderful um, with that discount, the total that I spent was $114.93. And I'll give you a quick scan of the receipt to see all the prices. The cream cheese was not on sale, so that was one of the most expensive things that I bought. I just did some math and I spent a total today at the three different places of $264.36 which is really good for us for a haul that's gonna last a week to two weeks. There are a lot of people in our family. And not counting the meat sticks and snacks, like the jerky, I got 37 and a third pounds of meat. And um, for that 37 and a third pounds of meat, I spent 84.19, which comes out to 225 a pound on average. And that includes steak, bacon, ground beef, and chicken drumsticks. So prices are going up on a lot of things, but you can still get some really good deals if you shop the sales. I know not everywhere has exactly the same prices as we have here, but we are in Oregon, close to Portland, and we have a pretty high cost of living here. It's not the most expensive place to live, but it's definitely not the cheapest place to live either. Um, anyways, I just wanted to do the math there and show you that you can eat a lower carb, higher protein, higher fat diet um, and not break the bank. If you do a little bit of the legwork and watch the sales and try to hit the different places and get the different deals, I also try really hard, especially now that we live out, out in the country, um, to group my trips. So on the day that I take the kids to pian piano lessons or ballet, I try to get um, a grocery trip in there as well. That saves money on gas. And when I do that and I get stuff for those really good deals, it loosens up the budget to be able to get extras like the Waterloo and the more expensive coffee and snacks and stuff like that. So not always trying to get the cheapest thing possible, but I do work to get a lot of things cheaper. And then from there, we can prioritize what we want on top of that. So thanks for coming shopping with us today. I hope you are all doing great and I will see you again in another video.